Hello, this is a tutorial on how to um, attach and upload documents to Google Classroom. So I'm going to first find my class and I have already logged in. I'm going to go up here to where it says classwork. And then here is my assignment. Notice it's missing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to view my assignment. All right. And then I am going to click on my assignment. And then my next step is I want to make a copy of this since this is a template. So I'm going to go to File. I'm going to make a copy and I want the entire presentation. And then what I'm going to do in the file name um, to make it something of my own to make sure my teacher knows it's mine, I'm going to put in my last name or I can put in my first and last name. And then I'm going to click OK. Now what's going to happen is that Google Classroom is going to actually make you a copy of that worksheet to call your very own that you can actually work in and answer um, the questions that your teacher has assigned. The most important part of when you go in to read any assignment is to make sure that you read your directions. So if you can notice the first slide it's telling me it's giving my directions. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to do the completed worksheet or the worksheet. Once I complete it, all right, then what I'm going to do, notice I have Murphy and then here's my um, worksheet. I am going to go back to Google Classroom and over on the right side where it says add or create, I'm going to click on that plus sign. Then I'm going to go to Google Drive. All right, in Google Drive, um, if I have just done the worksheet, it's going to be underneath recent and recent is the default setting for Google Classroom when you go to the drive. So it will automatically open up in your recent um, folder. If it's been a while and you need to go back and search for your document, you're going to have to go to your Google Drive and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I'm just waiting for um, the internet to load up. It's a little bit slow here. Okay. Notice that here is recent. This is the default. And if you notice right here is my document, so I just select it. But if it wasn't here in the list, I would then go and click on my drive and I would search for it. So there is my a document. I'm going to go ahead and click add. And if you notice now, it is adding the document. Notice there it is. I can also click on the document to view it before submitting. And then after I see that the document is here, I'm going to click on turn in. Now notice that when I turn in my work, it gives me the name of the document that I am submitting. It's telling me I am submitting my copy because it says Murphy. That's what I added. Then I'm going to click turn in. Now, if you notice, it shows me my document has, this is the document I turned in. If I wanted to unsubmit it, I would just click unsubmit. All right. So right now I'm going to unsubmit that because I want to show you another step that you can do. Um, let's say that you need to upload a document to your Google Classroom. I can also go to add or create. And I can go down here to where it says file. I can click on file. Just waiting this to open. So if you want to add a file to Google Classroom, I'm showing you how to do that right now. If you notice here is your upload. And because I click file, it automatically moved us to upload. I would click select this from your device. That could be your flash drive if I go down here. Um, here's my flash drive. And I'm going to go into my folder. And I'm going to find, let's say I want to upload this rubric. I'm going to click on it. Click open. And then I'm going to upload it. And you're going to see the progress down here at the bottom. Um, uploading the actual document to your Google Classroom. This might take a few minutes, hopefully not too long. 
There we go. See how they have the gray come over color crossed. It's showing up here that you're adding that document. You can even add more files. Once that's set, you can click on add more files. So you can add more than just one file. Just waiting for this to finish the upload. There we go. And if you notice now, I have a, another document that I uploaded right here in Google Classroom. You can also send any private comments to your teacher. When you add a com private comment, only your teacher will see that. Anyways, then the last step would be to click Turn In. And you, now it's going to show you the two different documents that are being submitted that, and are attached. Then I would just click Turn In. Anyways, um, that's pretty much it, how you um, add a copied version that you did on your drive and how to upload a file. Thanks for watching.